A report shows accidental drug overdoses were the top cause of death for Pennsylvanians under age 40 in 2022. Well, now a new law could combat the country's fentanyl crisis by targeting opioid traffickers who are damaging communities. Today, United States Senator Bob Casey joined law enforcement and community members to celebrate the Senate's passing of the Bipartisan Fentanyl Eradication and Narcotics Deterrence, or Fend Off Fentanyl Act. Fox 56's Taylor Wardenby has more. When this larger bill that had fend off fentanyl in it passed with 70 votes in the United States Senate, that meant that 22 Republican senators were going against the grain of their own party because a, a lot of their members were against Ukraine funding. We need that same, frankly, political courage and guts in the House. And we're not, all we're asking for here is to put the Ukraine security bill on the floor. Senator Bob Casey says they have to act to stop fentanyl trafficking. And the best way to do that is to pass Fendall Fentanyl. The combination is the tough measures of sanctions and anti-money laundering and Fendall Fentanyl, more investment in those screening machines at the border, and then also combined with other measures at the border and to help families who have someone suffering from uh, an opioid addiction. Hitting home in Scranton, one mother shared her story of losing her 22-year-old son six years ago. I am here just as a parent. It is a nightmare to find your child um, unconscious and trying to bring him back to life. And as a family, it is just heartbreaking to um, see the battle that he had, but then he lost. You, you can't imagine. It's, it's like a nightmare. It's six years, and I still feel like I need to wake up. That still hasn't happened. He took the wrong thing, and today I just want to give the message that it's out there. Marianne describes her son AJ as a fun, loving person who has a great personality, but was taken far too soon. By coming to talk about it is one of the hardest things I could possibly do. However, if I could save one life, just one, somebody hear my story and help the family and help that person. I feel like I have accomplished something. So wherever you go in the state, there are families like Marianne who have suffered grievously and all they're asking us is to do something. Reporting in Scranton, I'm Taylor Whartonby with Fox 56 News, first at 10. Senator Casey says the House has to schedule this vote to get fend off fentanyl done and then they can go back to negotiations to get a new border bill.